What's up guys, it's Phantom Pete here today from Vaping News Now. I'm really excited to bring you a full, complete juice review today. Um, it's on Mr. Good Vape. Uh, let me just set up the story before I uh, get into it here. Um, I've been looking for a good juice myself, a good all day vape, and honestly haven't found it yet. Um, one of the local stores here uh, in the valley I went to had a Mr. Good Vape and uh, it stuck out to me, you know, because it's in a glass bottle. And uh, that one had a little sticker on there saying made for connoisseurs by connoisseurs, so that kind of got me interested. Um, and while the price is a little bit higher than the other ones, I still went ahead and you know tried it because I was really looking for you know quality vape and I wanted to say I found it. So I contacted the owner and I asked him if you know I can review some of these juices, and uh, lo and behold, here we are. So kind of going to do just a general overview of these juices for you. Um, I watched some of the other reviewers um, on Mr. Good Vape's site. And I just wanted to do just a good general overview of all these juices for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, I, um, I pretty much just want to give a general overall review uh, of Mr. Goodbase as a whole line to check out. Honestly, all of his juices are phenomenal. This is just a general recommendation just to start with anyone that piques your interest and try it out. Um, the, the best thing I like about Mr. Goodbase is you can tell, once you try one Mr. Good Vape juice and have another one, you know it's Mr. Good Vape. So the first reason I love Mr. Good Vape is, is it's very consistent. And by that I mean, whatever PG, EG blend he uses in here, it is solid. It honestly works good whether you're doing a clear miser or you build a bowl, you know, just a simple setup. Um, I mean, no, let me just go through them right here and just show you. This is uh, on a Protein 2, this is the Sunday Fun Day. This is the first one I bought myself. Great all day flavor. Just super smooth, very consistent vapor. Um, I'm at, I got the 12 milligram blend. Honestly, I can't taste any nicotine here. It's so smooth. If you, if you take another 12 milligram blend, compete it up with this one, this is gonna win hands down. Um, here it is on a uh, smoke um, clear miser. On a, uh, what is this here? This is the iTaste SVD. I just got this one, love this guy. Just ripping, just rips like a hookah. Here's on a rebuildable right here. Solid, just solid. So number one is like I said, consistency. Number two is the sweetness on all these. It's the perfect blend for really just an all day vape. And I'm not even that much of a sweet tooth, but it's just a very satisfying amount of sweetness. It really never gets too overbearing. And that's really how I can tell they're all Mr. Good Vape flavors. Um, I've tried all these now. They're all phenomenal. And honestly, you can't really go wrong at any of them. Um, you know, we'll go to that later. But basically, just try try any of them. They're all really good. Um, if you like hookah, this is absolutely great for you. Um, it really isn't for straight tobacco, you know, knockoff flavors. The Pistachio Man it does have a little bit of tobacco in it. None of the other ones do. This is more for really just the hookah, you know, sweet flavor um, kind of sort. All right, and the third reason I love Mr. Good Vape is simply the packaging. Um, honestly, in the labeling. Um, number one, this little Mr. Vape cartoon guy is awesome. Um, his trademark is the godfather of vaping, as well as made for connoisseurs by connoisseurs. That really is what got me drawn to it. Honestly, it does deliver on the promise. It is a connoisseur blend. Um, you are paying, you know, up to double price for this, but honestly, it's worth it. Just get one bottle, and trust me, you'll like it. So. Going back to the packaging, real clear on what the milligram is. He's got the big 12 on there. And the other thing I like on here is he puts the date he manufactured them. So this is uh, made on 9, 12, 13. You know, great way to keep your juices fresh. If, you know, if you're like me and you got a ton of juices, that way you know, you know when to bake it while it's still good. And, um, and the glass bottles, of course. You know, glass, you know, it's better put in glass than plastic. You know, it's a sign he's spending more on packaging. It's higher quality ingredients. Uh, so that's it right there. That's the third reason is the packaging right there. All right, so now to finish up the review, I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview of each flavor here to help you guys pick the best one. Uh, I'm not going to vape them all for you. I've tried all these. Um, like I said, honestly, you can't go wrong. They're all good flavors, but I'm just going to highlight some for you here. So first we got the Moon Sugar. Um, this one is basically uh, sugar cookie and butterscotch and uh, graham cracker pie. Not too sweet, even though it sounds like it. Really good one. Next one we got the Sunday Fun Day. This is the one I started off with. Love this one. Uh, it's caramel candy, brown sugar, French vanilla, butter pecan, cookies and cream, all drizzled in butterscotch. Once again, it sounds really sweet, but it's not. You'll really like it. 
Next up, we got the uh, Dabble Do Ya, another really good one. Um, this is warm Dutch apple and uh, slow churn vanilla uh, and caramel flavors in there, really good. All right, this is one of my personal favorites here. This is the one I was vaping for quite a while. It's the Melon Head. This one really just tastes like a, stra uh, a strawberry. It's, um, it's cantaloupe, mango, and papaya. Um, all just mixing a great underlying sweetener. And then we got the uh, Sunshine Daydream, another really good one, one of my favorites. Pineapple, banana, orange. Um, this one too tastes like a yellow starburst. Really good. All right, next we got the uh, Dream Sickle. This is another personal favorite of mine. This one's like a really good old fashioned ice cream bar. Um, it's like tangerine and Bavarian cream. Um, if you know what I'm getting at there. That's a really, really good one. All right, next here we got the uh, Karma Cream. And this guy is going to be peaches and uh, vanilla bean ice cream. It's basically another, if you like any ice cream, you're going to like that guy right there. All right, next one we got the uh, Sweet Lovin'. And that one is going to be strawberries, watermelon, and bubble gum. Um, another really good flavor. Really, really candy reminiscent flavor, obviously. Really good. And we got Bahama Mama. This one, love the name. It's pineapple, coconut, um, candy colada, and uh, cream. Another really good one. This one is the one that stands out of all of them. So honestly, if you're going to choose any of the other flavors, if you like anything sweet, you're, you're going to like it. This is the one that stands out a little bit, the Pistachio Man. This one's really unique. This one, he does have a little bit of tobacco flavor in here. Um, this one's very good, though, so I do recommend this one as well. Um, this one's Chocolate Mint Pistachio, and it has French vanilla as well as uh, some tobacco that's imported from Italy in there. Really, really good. And then finally, last one here, Heaven's Candy. Honestly, this, I can't decide. This one's another phenomenal one. It's apple candy, sweet plums, and uh, cotton candy. And honestly, like I said, you can't go wrong. Just check it out, guys. You'll be sure to love it. This is Fan of Pete signing off for Vape News now. Thanks to Mr. Good Vape for sending us the product. Have fun, guys. Keep on vaping.